Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is David Novak. During the course of the last year and eight months, I have been trying to improve my reading. And one thing I've learned is that you, if you want to um, expand the volume of your reading, you have to make a concerted effort. And more than that, you also have to be flexible uh, in order to meet unexpected contingencies. Uh, I'm not sure how long this effort of mine will continue. I've known in the past how uh, sudden externalities can throw you off kilter and uh, prevent you from accomplishing a, a, a certain goal which you had been working toward. Uh, this one I hope to keep moving ahead on, but in my case, one debility uh, which may impede me beyond all of the other uh, sort of physical ailments which possibly may flare up at any given time um, and other material contingencies is the, the weakness in my eyes. And I don't have any kind of a diagnosed weakness, but last year uh, I started logging my books and making, making the concerted effort in January. And during February, I read The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. And unexpectedly, it is what you call a page turner. I read the book in record time. And so I was pouring over the pages. And at the end of it, something happened to my eyes. Uh, they, I, I, I started getting these twitchings and so forth. Now, I have subsequent to that broached the topic with a couple of eye doctors whom I have uh, seen for various other reasons. And when it comes to eye strain, they have been very inconclusive. Um, one of my doctors assured me that you cannot hurt your eyes by reading. So don't worry about, well, that's fine. But nevertheless, in that sort of situation where I have strained my eyes, um, I have to learn some way of dealing with it. And what I did in that occasion was for a brief while, I switched over to audiobooks, and that seemed to work well. I'm trying uh, not to get to that stage in the first place, and there are different things that one is advised to do. Uh, take a break uh, every 20 minutes or so, get up and look out the window, look at a distance. And since that time, I've been doing pretty well, um, until just lately, actually. And uh, so I've been reading this book, Fall in, uh, Love in a Fallen City by uh, Eileen Chang. And I'm, I've been reading it very slowly, actually. It's, it's it taken me nearly a week to get this far. And uh, I've, I've got about 100 pages to go, which on a better day I could see finishing off in a day. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, my eye started growing very tired and having some trouble. And so I decided to put it off. And then as though I had never read an audio book or listened to an audio book before, I required a brand new inspiration and realization that I could read something or listen to something on audio book. And 
I, I flipped through my books to see if I had anything that uh, might be suitable. I, I prefer, if at all possible, to have a physical copy in hand because I do like to re refer back. And I didn't come up with anything other than the e Edith Wharton, Ethan Frome, which I just picked up. And it's, it's a, a short book. And I checked around and uh, LibriVox has two versions of this. And it just so happens that one of the narrators is the same narrator that I listened to uh, for Thomas Hardy's uh, Tess of the D'Urbervilles. And so I felt I was acclimated to his reading style. Um, I would just slip into that, and I have done. So I'm, I'm beyond halfway with this, and I expect to finish it tomorrow. And after that, I don't know what I will do. Um, I suppose, contrary to my reading plans, um, pick up something like a Dickens, something that I know they will have. And so it seems to me that um, either I should make a regular habit, as some booktubers do, of constantly reading uh, something on audiobook simultaneous with reading either either their their Kindle book or their 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 hard copy, um, or just constantly having something in the works uh, so that when I need something like that, I can just pull it out. And I don't know what is the best way to move forward. Honestly, I would prefer to read the books. But given that I want to let my eyes rest up a bit, um, Audiobook seems the only way forward for me at the moment. Um, I don't know what other heavy readers do um, to help preserve their eyes from eye strain. Uh, if anybody knows anything and would, would care to leave a comment, uh, that would be great. Um, now I've just lost my train of thought, as happens occasionally. Um, so I'm going to continue with this, and then I suppose I will move into something, as I say, perhaps by Dickens, simply because it has to be something that um, is readily available, and in my case, I prefer it to be something which I have a copy of. So after that, maybe it will be Hard Times, or what is the other one I have? Do I have A Tale of Two Cities? I'm not sure that I do. Um, at any rate, I know I have two uh, Dickens paperbacks on hand. 